Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about outliers or influential observations and their impact on uh, OLS estimates. And in this video, I'm going to show you an example in R. I'm going to show you that OLS estimates are sensitive to the inclusion or exclusion of one or several influential observations. And I'm going to use this uh, R&D data set and regress R&D on uh, sales and profit margin. Now, this data set has uh, 32 firms and uh, looking at the plot of R&D and sales, we see that there is one firm with an annual sale of about $40 billion. And uh, 31 firms out of these 32 firms, they have uh, sales less than $20 billion. If we fit a line like this line, this observation or this firm is having a huge impact and it's tilting this line towards it which means the slope coefficients that we will get, those will be influenced by this observation. So let's go ahead and omit this uh, observation from our data set and uh, regress a model without this firm. And as we can see, now our slope is a lot steeper because we omitted uh, this observation from the data set. So it seems like this observation, it was having a huge impact and it was pulling this uh, regression line toward it. So this was an influential observation of this data set. So let's go ahead and regress two models. The first model is uh, with all the 32 firms, including this one firm, which has sales equals $40 billion. And uh, then omitting this observation from our data set, I'm going to subset my data and uh, regress the same model and look at the results. So looking at uh, the variable sales, so it is uh, statistically insignificant when we include uh, this influential observation or outlier in the data set. But omitting this makes uh, sales statistically significant. So that's the first impact. The next impact is that uh, the magnitude of sales, it's almost uh, double in this case as compared with this uh, case. Actually, uh, the impact is almost three times here if we look at uh, more decimal places. In short, this variable sales, it's not only larger in magnitude, but also statistically significant if we omit this outlier from our model. Looking at the profit margin variable, this, one, this variable is a little bit larger in magnitude without the outlier in the model, but still statistically insignificant. So as we can see here, outliers, they can have a huge impact on these uh, slope coefficients and their statistical significance in OLS because OLS gives equal weights to all of these observations. That is whenever there is an outlier like this, it will give an equal weight to this observation, which will have a huge impact on uh, the slope coefficient. And we see that sometimes it can make those slope coefficients larger or smaller dramatically and it can change their statistical significance as well. Okay, so that was OLS uh, estimator when we have outliers in the model. In the next video, I'm going to talk about another method which is a little bit uh, more resilient to outliers than OLS. And I'll give you an example of that method as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.